Yes guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on Bat9 Films. We are going to go through the best list of 2023 for mallet putters. Now, this is an article that we have found on My Golf Spy, and we're going to go through the top five. And there are, I'm not going to lie Josh, there's some surprising ones in this mix. There is, and there's some surprising ones that aren't in this mix, so we will go through some of them as well. But we're going to start at five and go to one. Yeah, so how it works is really nice and simple. They're doing a test with 20 volunteers. They have gotten to hit putts from five feet, 10 feet, and 20 feet, giving the putter an overall score amongst all those points out of 100. And we're solely looking at it based on this score. And as we go through this video, guys, we want you to get involved. Are there any putters that you feel have been missed out? Because as we know, like putters are what we'd say is personal. Yeah, and they're, uh, they're the most important club in your bag. And they're also, it, it's not just how you hit it it's how it looks to you it's got to suit your eye like a lot of golf clubs do but more so with this i feel 100 and it's probably the last on your list but yeah if there's any on this list that you think they have missed out we want you to get down the comments or this actually might be the point where it might sway your buying decision when you buy a putter next okay josh hit us up with number five we do this in reverse order yeah so coming at five we have the cleveland frontline elite elevado i hope i'm saying that right I gave the U number five because I couldn't pronounce it. I thought so. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. So, coming, this is £250 or £249.99, pence, and they gave it an overall score of 86.66. Now, for me, I love the neck on this putter purely because it's similar to the one that I use now. I use a spider putter and it's very, very similar. Um, it's the tungsten which has helped them to position the COG. So central gravity. Central gravity, there you go. All the way at I'm the front. Some, I'm useful for something. Eh? <laughs> yeah, all the way at the front of the head. Um, most putters improve the MOI. Moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. By moving the CG back, the frontline elite range of the putters uses more than 30 grams of metal injection, moldy tungsten across the striking area to move the weight further forward, which is, mm. there's a lot of like jargon in here. I'm going to say that now, but what that basically, I'm assuming, means is the motor of the inertia is the motor of hitting the ball. So right? essentially, motor of inertia is like how much twisting can happen. So okay. essentially, what they're saying there is they've created a putter with uh, a weight more across the face right. to make it more forgiving on all putts. Yeah. So um, they've also got the speed optimized face technology or soft um, which helps to deliver normalized speeds across an enlarged striking area. So for those miss hits, you're going to get a better strike of the of the ball. Um, and this obviously leads to consistency, predictable uh, distance, and better overall putting performance. So, so more forgivable. More forgivable. In essence. Yeah. No, but I, so what I, I, I read, when you're reading that out there, I was like, God, there's a lot of jargon. There is. And what I find now, like putters, have equally as much jargon as drivers do. Yes, and so I agree. So have a look at this, Josh. What do you think of this putter? Now, it looks very similar to a very successful Odyssey putter. Now, I know loads of brands do their own version of this, but one thing I do like about this is the black with the sort of face insert being yes. grey. I yeah. like a putter that has a face insert like yeah. that. Yeah, and like I said, that's very, very similar to the putter that I use. It has a face insert, and I think this for me, and as a amateur golfer, as a club golfer, it's the most important thing for me is the look. Purely because I don't, I'm not good enough to worry about moment of inertia. I'm not, and I'm sure a lot of people out there are <laughs> no, thinking no, the I same know what thing. You mean. Just funny to hear you say that. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not good enough to worry about moment of inertia. <laughs> so I think that this putter is something that I could definitely use purely based on looks. What do you think of the price point? Because like, if you're thinking 249, right? Like, that is an expensive putter. I know it's not quite in the realms yeah. of the Scotty Cameron, but it's going to sound really bad what I'm about to say right now, but for a Cleveland putter, is that significantly high in price? Put it this way, I don't think I'd go to Cleveland first. Well, that's what I'm saying. For that price. That's what I'm saying, yeah. because you're in the price bracket of specialist putter brands. You are, of like course you are. Right, yeah. okay. Number four on the list. Again, this is very, very surprising. This is the Wilson Staff Model MT22. This comes in at 299.99 pence and got an overall score of 86.71. 
marginally better than number yes, five. Yes. Okay, so this is as a new balance round back mallet style putter that helps players find the pin with sophisticated style. 100% precision milled and exceptionally tight tolerances for superior consistency and roll. The Ultra Soft 304 stainless steel is a high quality steel. Now, one thing I'd say right now is I first look at this putter, Josh, and I think it is a putter that is trying to be a Scotty Cameron. It's sort of going in that yep. price point. High tolerance. It's a putter that has been precision milled. These are all the words that we hear from the likes of Scotty Cameron. Yeah, and that's the one thing. When you look at it, it looks like they're trying to make a Scotty Cameron. Yeah. It really does. Uh, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think it's, it's something that golfers love. However, the one thing I think I would say is, at that price, would you not just pay a little bit more and get a Scotty Cameron? Yeah, I get what you mean. But one thing I would say, say you had a budget and you wanted to spend uh, 300 quid on a yeah. putter, right? That is going to be a very, very high quality putter. Mm. I, I, we've done a video on this before, all about putters and what we like and, and what, what you should have to look for. But essentially, I think it's a good thing that that is going down the route of, yeah, okay, you're not going for a name. Wilson, again, wouldn't come top of your head yeah. for a name you buy for a putter. But one thing I would say is, look at it in terms of the materials and the precision milling. Yeah. You're going to get a high quality putter, just not the name. Yeah, and I agree. Um, and it does look brilliant. Like It, it looks like a very, very nice putter. I you, would say that. You just say it now. You just... No, I think it does. <laughs> but again, this, it, this sh it does shock me, though, that this is as high as it is because... And this is no disrespect to anyone that uses Wilson clubs or the brand itself, but you don't put it up there with no. with the top brands. You don't. And So name me the putters you... Th okay, so before we go on to um, number three, yes. as we're counting down this list, name me the brands that first come to your head if you're thinking putters. Well, Scotty Cameron, obviously, you're number one. Mm -hmm. Odyssey, up there is number two. Um, and then I would then go with, for me, like, you look at, like... Putters, specific putters like the Taylor Made Spider, yeah. that's been used by a lot of players on tour. Um, and then it, after that, I wouldn't know. Obviously, I know brands so, like yeah, Even so, Roll and yeah. things like that, but I don't know much about their putters. I've never used one. Things like that. My point being, you've gone Scotty Cameron, yeah. Odyssey, Betanardi, Taylor Made. Out. Odyssey, Odyssey are owned by Callaway, yeah. so essentially the same thing. And then all the ones that I would possibly throw into the mix are here, are like Yes Putters. Yeah. They're sort of a thing of yeah. the past, Betanardi. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't be those first two brands. Okay, Josh, next on our list. Yeah, so coming in at number three, we have the Even Roll EV5. Now, this is a big jump up in price. This comes in at £425 and was given a rating of 89.57. So, a, again, a, a bigger jump from a scoring perspective. Again, it's a black putter with a light, a white line and it, it's one of those putters that looks neat and tidy. Um, again, would suit my eye and probably yours, I imagine. So they've got the sweet face technology. So this is their their technology for even roll distance. Because the channel's getting narrower away from the center, the spacing gets wider. This increases in, in contact surface, means more energy transfer and replaces the energy lost when a ball is hit away from the sweet spot. So basically, just to go through that jargon, it's more efficient hits. Yeah, so basically they're trying to make all these things are trying to make it more forgivable. Yeah. Um, and one thing I'd say, Josh, so far, this is probably my favourite putter on this list. Now, I know it is pricey. It is high up there. But I, I, I've i never tried one of these putters. But every time I see fellow YouTubers use them or other people, I think, wow, that thing is really, really nicely made. I love the logo. Yeah. Um, I don't understand, like, the idea behind it is that it's a very much of a smaller brand yep. um, compared to your likes of your Odyssey, your TaylorMade, and even um, you, you're throwing in there your Scotty Cameron. Um, but I like the ideas behind this. And it, from around here, the people that I've heard use this. By the way, guys, if you have one of these, get down in the comments. We'd love to hear. Um, this is one that I would say is expensive. But if you're willing to spend a lot of money, a good one. Yeah. And, and again, a little bit more tech there. It says zero dispersion, a series of of closely spaced variable width channels are wider in the center and get gradually narrower towards the heel and the toe. This creates a precisely calibrated inward V-shape from both the heel and the toe that progressively redirects the ball down the target line. So again, there to make it easier. But for me, 
as an amateur, from an amateur view, you might look at this very differently. From an amateur view, I don't think that matters. Um, one thing I'd say, like you say, it doesn't matter, but we're all got the same objective, right? We all want to get a putt. Now, if you think of a mallet, these are the putters which are, in my opinion, designed for maximum forgiveness. Yeah. Because essentially, using those big words of MOI, you can make it bigger. It's got back to it. Yeah. Whereas a blade is very much a small, thin putter. You've got to be really precise. So mm -hmm. essentially, what we're saying here is you've got the forgiveness with the size, but also the way they design like the grooves. If you get it a bit off the toe, think of it like gear effects on a driver. And that's what I was thinking. That, that is say. how that's I think about it. Point. You hit it off the toe with a driver. This putter is suggesting it might come back a bit, mm. like it does with your driver. Yeah. If the heel, it might come back a bit. Obviously. These things are so, so small, and we're only trying to get it into a cup this big. Yeah. So yeah. you've still got to be precise. But as I said before, I love the look of this putter. And I think maybe the point there that I'm potentially missing and others might be missing is how important this stuff actually is. Because if you think about it, if you knew, and you use the driver analogy, brands are now bringing out three drivers every time. They're bringing out a low spin driver, the standard driver, and a draw bias driver. Mm -hmm. And that is to allow you to find the club for you. Mm -hmm. That is to allow you to find the club that works best for your game. And that I think is maybe where as a club golfer I miss the point and as I imagine a lot of club golfers miss the point is you should do that with your putter. Mate, but I think that's marketing. That's just marketing. I 100%, 100% agree with you on that point, but that is the marketing jargon. That Thank is you. the sort of world we're in. People will go and not bat an eyelid at spending five, 600 pounds on a driver. Yep. But put that in a putter, no, no, no. But what one do you use more? Okay, so let's go on to next one on our list. Now, this possibly I'm going to say right now is the ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life. And I'm going to be really blunt. I would never, ever, 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 ever put this in my bag. So this isn't at number two. Now, bear in mind at this point, we have still not had a Scotty Cameron in there. No. Nope. Bear in mind at this point, we've still not had a Bettinardi in there. No. Nope. We've still not had an Odyssey putter in there. Which is mad. We've had all brands that you wouldn't think of. And remember, this is from My Golf Spy. We're just going through that and we're reacting to what article they had. So, number two on the list is the Lab Golf Mez One Max. This comes in at £559 and got a score of 89.62. This is the overall score, remember, from 5 feet, 10 feet, 20 feet. So, I'll be honest, this putter looks awful. Um, I really don't like it. Um, but again, we're going to get that price point now with some very, very high quality materials. 303 stainless steel. It has press grips um, created to a built-in forward press technology. Um, so essentially, it accounts the fact that you can allow a forward press, which yeah. most people use as a trigger to start their swing. Um, Josh, come on. What do you think of this putter? Uh, come on, give me your opinion. In one word, horrible. So from what I want to see here, you see how the shaft from that angle is like angled ahead. Yes. So the shaft is back and the head uh, and the hands are then forward. Like. And I just, it looks clunky. It looks big. Um, players that use this after Charles Swartz all uses one bet. If it's not this club, it's very, very similar. Um, and I remember when we when we saw him using it, you even made the point of what is that? Like, yeah, yeah. it just—it's not something that I would look at and go, "Do you know what? I really want to put that in my bag." But you know what's weird? I mean, I'm saying this, but I probably use one of the most ugliest putters going that Bettinardi thing. And that again is where it—it it is massively important to get fit for your putter because it might not look good, but if it works, who cares? I, I agree, but like, I'm, I'm like contradicting what I'm saying here. That thing just looks ugly do you it not does. think no it does i completely agree with you and if you think what that is very very similar to number five on our list yeah very very similar to the cleveland putter similar shape i mean and they just look slightly different yeah. technology and but they just look completely different don't they it, it, it's in essence the same head maybe a little bit chunky or seems to be the same head it's not but seems to be the same looking head a little bit chunkier not for me Okay, Josh, not for me. number one on our list. Let's get to this. Now, bear in mind, again, we've not had any of these big brands on here. We are number one on our list. And you know what? I love the look of this putter. Yes. I have to agree. Yes. So it is the Odyssey Tri-Hop 5K Rossi S with an overall score of 96.64 and coming in at a reasonable price compared to some of these other putters of £379. Now, I'd love to have known, before you go into the tech on this putter, I wonder if this test was done blind in terms of price. Now, obviously, as keen golfers, we're going to know roughly like the prices of the putter, but it'd be interesting to know, because I know as a kid, right, if I picked up that expensive one, it went in all the time. The cheap <laughs> one never went in. Sorry, Dad. Um, but do you know what I mean? Like, I'd yeah. be interested to know on that. So, um, go on, Josh. What's the tech? 
So they've got interchangeable front weights, uh, legendary white hot insert, which you will recognize from all Odyssey putters, and red stroke lab shaft. So uh, using 303 stainless steel, Odyssey golf tri hot 5k putters have all been meticulously crafted to reinvent what a putter can accomplish. Front loaded with tungsten weighting that improves CG, center of gravity, positioning to the dramatic to dramatically increase inertia for incredible forgiveness which is what we all want while moving the center of gravity closer to the face this improves speed control spin control and speed consistency on off center puts for tour proven performance and it is a lovely looking putter i really like this putter this is one that i again i love the neck i like the sort of the d shape it's very john ram yeah, 100%, very John Ron. 100%. Like, I mean, one of the interesting thing is these guys can sort of spec them out the way they want. Yeah. But this is sort of a putter, whereas if you think Odyssey, they bought um, a brand called, I'm trying to think of the brand now. So the competitor, oh, what's it called? Toulon Design. There we right. go. So their Toulon Design is their sort of upper echelon putter, which competes with the Scotty Cameron. But this is a multi-material putter. It's like combining the best bits of the cheaper one, mm. throwing in some high quality materials and bringing together a putter, which, you know what? I really like the look of. Like, I agree. I think if I was going to use uh, an Odyssey putter, this would be the one purely for the fact that it's not oversized. It's a good shape for those smaller ones, those shorter ones, but then when you've got a bit of a longer putt and slower greens, you have that forgiveness. Yeah. Okay, guys, you now have the list. Top five putters of 2023, mallets from my golf bike. What do you think of this list, Josh? I am shocked. I'm shocked for two reasons. When I think of a mallet putter, the first thing I think is tailor-made spider. Mm -hmm. The re Two reasons, that obviously, I use one, but also... Think of the players that have used them. Think of the the marketing around them and how big of like that that club's been potentially one of the most successful mm. mallet putters going. Um so that comes outside the top five. It is sixth to be fair, but it's outside the top five. I'm also shocked that there isn't a Scotty Cameron in the yeah, top I think ten. JT has used that fan, which we've seen two fans on here. We've seen the Cleveland one. Yeah. And we've seen uh, I've forgotten the name of that ugly thing. Um, the um, well, the, we've the, the lab, even roll sorry. one and the lab. no, no, I like so we've seen three, so we've seen yeah. three fan putters, we've seen the even roll, the lab, and the Cleveland. Yeah, they're basically same as what JT used in the Scotty Cameron, and that's mm -hmm. not even in the top five on this list. No, we've and not got a Betanardi in the top no, five either. The price point of these as well would be yeah. right in with the Scotty Cameron on the some of them. Yeah, um, obviously, maybe thinking about it, maybe Scotty Cameron aren't necessarily known for their mallet. They they, they make them, and, and I'm banned by by all means not saying that, that that's that's an issue, but you think Scotty Cameron, you think California Del Mar, you think the... the Newport. Yeah, the Newport. You think you think of a non-mallet putter. Yeah. No, I, don't, I know what you mean. Well, like, look, at, look at Rory's just Yeah, exactly. Like, you think of like a little bladey... Bladey putter, that's the word I was I looking for. I guess you also think of elite player. Yeah. Whereas we're looking at putters now, which again, you're looking at a mallet putter you're looking for forgiveness high moi and also um back cg i guess basically looking at a putter which is the most forgiving style for your game yeah so guys thank you so much for watching today don't forget to subscribe check out the podcast as well the back nine pod all the information is down below and we look forward to bringing you some more podcasts and some more videos here on the channel